Today I wanted to show you the newest project that I'm working on and it's my Moana Little Golden Book Junk Journal. So when I started making a junk journal, which I've only made one so far and half of another one, which I stopped midway through because I just wasn't feeling the vibe, um, <laughs> I watched a ton of videos. Um, everyone has their own process, everybody has a different way of doing things. Um, I just picked and chose the, the skill set that somebody, um, I just picked, I picked from the different videos, keeping in mind the skill sets that I have and the materials I have available to me. So when you see little golden books, a lot of times people will, um, for instance, I have this Mary Poppins one here, people will um, deconstruct this book and looking at these pages in here they will keep the pages intact and they will not cut or trim the pages whenever you're making a little golden book there are several um, junk journal there are seven different ways to do it the way I do it is I cut my pages down now, a lot of the times if you cut your pages down, you're just cutting a little smidge off the edge right here and a little bit off the bottom, and it doesn't mess up your, um, your words. But however, when I did my little Moana Golden Book and I cut down the pages like I'm about to show you, it did cut off some of my words. But I'm not even going to fuss or care about it. I am just going to move on in the process. So I'm just going to talk you through my process and what I do. So first of all, you're going to encounter that you have your little golden book. And it's going to have this spine on it. And it's going to have the little golden book, um, the spine. Right? So you want to take this off in the way that I take it off. I saw an ingenious method. I used this heating tool and I just heat up, turn it on and I just heat up the little golden book spine. And I do that for about a minute and then the spine comes off just like this intact. And then I put it to the side and I save it for when I reconstruct the book. Then you're gonna need like a screwdriver to lift up the staples because there's going to be staples on here you want to do it as carefully as you can because you don't want to damage the spine now what I try to do is um, I try not to bend this spine too much because I kind of want it straight when I recon reconstruct my book now this was a brand new Moana book so um, the spine was straight meaning it did not have a crease right here but, you know, if it does have a crease, you can just reinforce it with some cardboard or some chipboard when you're constructing your book. More about that later or maybe in another video. So I was just going to show you guys the process. When I use papers for my um, Little Golden Book journal, I use 12 by 12 sheets of um, cardstock. So what I had to do was, because it's 12 by 12, I had to cut down my Moana pages to six inches. Okay, because half of 12 is six. So I did cut a little bit off of here, and I did cut a smidge off the bottom. I did that so when I build my book, I wanted a little, piece left over on the bottom and a top. I wanted a little gap. You don't need to have a gap, but for some reason that's the way I do it. And I'll do it whatever way you want to do it. Okay, so then what I did was I had a whole bunch of papers that uh, were Hawaiian -y in nature that I got at the craft store here in Hawaii. So I wanted to incorporate that into a book. And I was going to make um, a Lilo and Stitch book, but the papers didn't really 
coincide or jive with that book. So I switched it up and I grabbed my Moana book and that's what I'm doing. So this is the first thing you see when you come in here. And I've already added, there's two signatures, but I've already added my papers in here. Now, as I do the process, I'll probably move the papers around, or add more to it. I need to decorate the pages, but I'm just showing you for now what I have. So I have cute little Moana, and look at the page that I chose to put next to her. I thought it was really cute. Um, here's another page that I have, and this kind of reminds me of, uh, Mo, uh, not Moana, but Maui's tattoos on his body. Here she is with Grandma Tala, and then I just put this page here because actually I wasn't sure what really matched with it, but I thought, well, you know, she's sitting on the ground telling little Moana um, a story. So I put this down because this looks like flooring to me. So I put this down next to it. This one here, she is helping the little turtle to get back into the ocean. And so here's some turtles on that other page. The green matches with the green. And you can't really see it that well, but this is sand. And she's at the beach. Um, and then this is just flowered floral paper in the middle. And another beach scene in Moana with her dad. And, um, I have a friend, she is so excellent at matching paper together. I'm just using what I have in my stash. I'm not buying anything new for this book, at least I don't think I am. And so I'm just using what I have. So you know this green, um, what is at the heart of Tafiti, it matches the screen. So I'm just kind of trying to tie in the papers. But I have a friend, her name is Caroline. She has a channel called Dream with Caroline. She's a very good artist. I would love if you guys would go over to her channel and see her little golden books that she does. She inspires me often to pull out my stuff and just to start creating. And the more of these journals that you create, hopefully the better and better you'll get at them. And so um, here's just, you know, some more of the pages that I picked. I am not especially good at picking out papers, but once again, I'm giving myself an out by telling you guys that I just used what I had at home. So, um, this is what I had and this is what I came up with, okay? I might want to change this paper out and put it with that blue tattoo paper. But, you know, as you create, you do. You mix things around. You don't keep everything the same. So, this is like the Hawaiian Islands on this side. This side of the paper is um, postal stamps, Hawaii, Honolulu, um, I don't know what else, USA, made in the USA, all of those kind of things. So I put it in here. Um, it would have been cool if I had coconut paper because all of these um, Kakamura on the page. And then um, I may have to turn this one around because this is, oh, I forgot his name. Oh, Tamatoa. And Tamatoa likes shiny things. So I did have a leftover piece of paper that was shiny, glittery. So I got that. And then you see here with the barcode, I can just decorate this paper. So it's not going to be a problem. And then um, here is Teka and a blank sheet of paper because the other side has the Hawaiian Islands but I can also decoupage and collage on this page. And then we're getting to the end of the book. I mean, I just hope I inspired some of you to attempt or to try to make a junk journal. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, this really inspires me to create and be creative and just have a, have a hobby that I could do um, when I'm not at work or, you know, doing other things. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I really love for you to like my comment and, or like my video and to leave a comment. I finally made it to 500 subscribers. I was so happy. That was my goal for, um, the end of last year. I didn't quite make it. I was real close and... Finally, last week, I went over the 
500 mark and I just like to thank everyone that has supported me and has come to my channel shown some love and subscribe I really appreciate it so this year my goal is to get to a thousand hope everybody's having a great day take care Aloha